the patients where targeted lung denervation can have a place are the more severe patients. Uh, they are the patients with COPD who have repeated exacerbations, who have a lot of symptoms, who have uh, less quality of life and uh, they are already most of the times on what we call a maximal therapy. So uh, it's uh, a dual or triple therapy, so including anticholinergics, long-acting beta-2 agonists and also inhaled steroids and they continue to have problems. So it's an add-on uh, treatment to a, a severe population. And in that severe population, this trial uh, shows that you can do something more on top of the pharmacological drugs. So it's, a uh, it's one of the first indications that indeed it could be helpful in reducing exacerbations, in improving the symptoms and the quality of life of the patients. And I think it's now important to note that uh, this study leads to the initiation of a next phase, a phase three, uh, more controlled, randomized uh, clinical trial. Uh, indeed, uh, uh, looking up the effects and trying to confirm that first of all. And uh, also uh, to see uh, that will allow us, these are then longer term studies, that will allow us also to see what is happening on the long term with this treatment, whether there's any, uh, how long it lasts for six months, one year or how long. So these are questions, very relevant, but need to be answered in uh, follow-up studies.